stop me. Oh! You're a genius. It's me, Dr. Mike. Welcome to the official RP Strength Team Full ROM cooking competition. We are going to be making recipes from the Team Full ROM cookbook, but there's going to be a clash of titans, you could say. On the one hand, we have moi, and I'm going to be teaming up with none other than Mr. Jared Feather, IFBB Pro. We are going to be going up against Mr. Charlie Jung. Charlie's gonna make his whatever food that you will find in the recipe book. And then our celebrity guest judges will eat it, they will appraise it, they will judge. And then Jared and I go, we're gonna make food. The celebrity judges are gonna have faint memories of how awful Charlie's food was. And they're gonna rate our food the best head to head. We're gonna look at the celebrity judges and they're gonna say, hey, Mike and Jared clearly won. I think that's how the show is gonna go. And then victory will be ours. Who are these celebrity judges? You may be asking yourself at this very moment. Practicing doctor of sports medicine, Crystal Guevara and my lovely wife. Nothing uh, insider trading here about this. Janae Marie Croc, the one, the only, beautiful, gorgeous, and also on our team, yes, Janae? Excellent. <laughs> Lolo, longtime friend and super jacked gal and a nice person, I hear. Better be nice to Jared and I. Our last celebrity judge, Mr. Juji Mufu himself. He's big, he's hairy, he's handsome. Did I mention handsome? You're winning a lot of points here. Thank you so much. And winning is the name of the game. Folks, you've been introduced. Hey, I wonder what Charlie's up to, cooking his whole bullshit food that nobody's gonna like. Hey, best of luck. Thank you, sir. All right, and the kitchen is yours. Thank you. All right, let's, let's. Uh, oh! <laughs> There's a competition. <laughs> He's using the stove. You, you, you know there's a fire in the kitchen. There's oh, things there's fire. He already coming out of the stove. A fire in the kitchen. Is this legal? So this is macro-friendly chicken and broccoli over rice um, for bodybuilders. You know, if you, anyone that want to put on some muscle or, you know, eat healthier. Uh, and we want to make it easy. So we're using frozen broccoli for this. A cup of broccoli? There's nothing in that except for gas. <laughs> this is from our lovely friends at Trifecta. They make, you know, food prep a little easier. This is pre-cooked, so all you really have to do is heat it up on the stove. Oh, is he allowed to cut stuff? Look at that technique. What you'll need is sriracha, soy sauce. I like to use a little uh, reduced sodium one, garlic powder, and onion powder. Okay, so this is kind of like almost thawed out. It's browning a little bit, so this is when we throw in the chicken. I like to add first, Splenda. About four Splenda packets for a serving. Chicken over broccoli. In restaurants, there is sugar in the sauce, so. This is a substitute for that. It's pretty cancerous, cancer causing. I just, I can't, I can't say I approve of this. This is not medically safe. Some garlic powder, some onion powder. Finish off with a little sriracha to your taste. So you can use fresh rice and just serve it on top. Or if you have uh, daled rice, you can kind of just toss that in at the end and give it a little stir. What the fuck, man? You're taking all the rice? How much rice do you need? Come here. That's a good strategy. We cheat twice. <laughs> yes. Are we doing yellow? Yes. Why? Because we want to fucking win, bro. Okay. And that's it. Quick and easy. That took all of maybe like five, ten minutes tops. I hope they like it. <laughs> What is that brown stuff? Soy sauce? Oh, <laughs> that's what it tastes like. Okay, it's, it's very good. Yeah, it tastes good. Yeah. Lola, what do you think? <laughs> Charlie, Charlie's cooking is definitely magical. This was an experience and I feel blessed to, yeah, to even be able to taste this from such a beautiful soul. Bitch. Toxic <laughs> Hey, Janae. Mm -hmm. Let's see. I sense a bit of 
chicken. <laughs> there's, there's, yes, rice. And one more thing. There's one thing that's eluding me. <gasps> Broccoli. That's what it tastes like. I can't believe she acknowledged my food. I'm having really warm memories of my mom, mom's cooking and Clearly I'm Korean, so, you know, I, I feel like, you know, he really spoke to, really spoke to me. That was your wife. <laughs> Father fucking divorce papers. Uh, what are we making? Do we have a toaster? The only thing he uses is a fucking microwave, clearly. <laughs> God damn it. Hey, we're splitting up? Not really. No, really. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. One, two, three, team. We are kind of gonna shock the crowd and we're gonna make two recipes at the same time. <laughs> they can do that? We are going to be making arroz con pollo y ketchup, which is- That means and. Um, um, uh, <laughs> and it does mean and in Spanish. And it's, um, the ketchup is a little Tex-Mex American twist to an old Mexican classic. And of course, to finish off the meal, we are gonna be making keto bread. Mm -hmm. Do it with me now. French toast. It's cinnamon toast, but that's fine. Cinnamon French toast. Holy shit, what a surprise. We spare no expense. Have to get it all out of there. That was artful. Woo! And he's so strong. Look at those forearms. Oh. <laughs> but you may be asking yourself at this point. I'm not asking myself anything at this point. <laughs> I'm about to ask you some questions. Well, <laughs> so it looks like we're having cat food with lettuce. <laughs> Charlie used a gas stove. Started a fire in the it's kitchen. Literally a fire in the kitchen, which uh, <laughs> no, no doubt kills so many people yearly. Jared and I, are you gonna use a technology by which literally Mike. beams? Is it sonic waves? Oh, I don't think so, Is Jared. Is it x-rays? Closer. Is it microwaves? The teeniest little waves and they're so adorable. They're so cute. But they're super advanced, super technology, Elon Musk type shit. Yes. Amazon, Jeff Bezos, you know what I'm saying? It's a fucking microwave. Let's that, get the shit it's done. a very impressive microwave. It's such a good microwave. It's not a drawer, folks. Sort of got I've used that before. <laughs> the microwave. It does the cooking for you. Did you defrost that? It's pretty cold. It goes in the toaster oven first. Mike, I really have no idea. <laughs> Please don't microwave the bread too. Yeah, you didn't show sir. us how to do this. Yeah, I'm this is Bullshit. Technical difficulties. <laughs> you walk away right now, Chris. Oh, fuck, it went off. Fuck. <laughs> okay, oh, 350. Let them burn the house down. Uh, it's preheating. What the fuck? What the fuck does set time mean? Uh, <clears throat> so you turn it to toast. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, please. thanks. We need that. Remember when Charlie <laughs> just let these poor people sit here thirsty? I do. Good news. Jared and I will take care of that. We'll take While care of it. While you wait for this delicious feast, do we've got. Nothing but the Can you use these cat cups? Best. These are amazing. It goes with the meow mix that she really wants. Yes. To <laughs> yes. <gasps> How red. I time the spritzes, by the way. <laughs> hey, Janae, we're going to be serving you some shut the fuck up soon. Let me clean this plate so it looks so not presentable. No, this is presentable. Okay, this is raw. It's organic. Okay, great. <laughs> Why is he making more shit? Why is he making more shit? Arroz con pollo y ketchup. Requires at least three ingredients, but we even have a fourth. Oh yeah, rice. Rice is first. Jared's getting some rice. <laughs> in the meantime, I'll probably need some sort of mixing utensil, which a spoon could, I guess, work, right? Those sure, those why not? <laughs> interact with food. Health is our number one priority. That's, that's fine. Salt bay. Oh, this is what grandma used to make. All right. The fuck? Uh, huh. A good chef <laughs> never eats his own food. <laughs> yeah, I'll stand by that statement. So many times, <laughs> I was gonna say cooking people, but I guess they're called chefs or something. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, cooking people um, <laughs> often like use their filthy fucking cooking hands to like fuck with your shit and put it in your bowl. Fuck Charlie. That. I wash my fucking hands. Who knows what the fuck Charlie's hands have been on? Fuck, that shit looks good. Charlie saw our toast idea and made his own chakra French toast, which is also a recipe from the cookbook. And he kind of fucking cheated by giving them the chakra French toast, but we'll see what they think about it. We're not out of the running yet. God, it's so good. 
Uh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> I think on presentation alone, we're fucking crushing it. Jared, what do you think? Fantastic. Do you guys need more figure? Oh, this is worst up close. <laughs> This is what it takes to be a bodybuilder. I don't want to be a bodybuilder. <laughs> there was actually one bite that was really, really good. <laughs> and that's when I got a bunch of hair in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I really felt the love you put into this. Thank you so much. It's all about times. love. Thank yes. you. I loved it. Every bit was amazing. <laughs> this recipe is going in a cookbook. Ah, it is. <laughs> yes. You're charging money for that cookbook. Uh, we're not so sure yet. <laughs> Sure, why not? You're a genius. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Now, this comes the time for the judges to tell us how they feel about our cooking. And each judge is gonna give a little bit of what they thought about Charlie's, a little bit of what they thought about ours, and then render a final decision. It's, it's do or die, either or, pass, fail. Well, uh, Mike and Jared definitely tried. Oh, so I, I really felt like they put a lot of effort and energy into their dish. Um, Charlie, definitely a little bit of a step above. He had two dishes. Note, he had two dishes. Yeah, um, awesome. He uh, had, like, executed three. them very well. And, you know, at the end of the day, I'm going to support my fellow Asian. That's just the way it goes. So my vote goes to Charlie. Oh, open racism. Cool. <laughs> open well, racism. Good job, yes. wife. What do I say? Like, I, I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> the French toast was divine. That's a, good, that's a big word. The chicken, rice, and broccoli was amazing. Very, very close. Very close. I, I have to go with Charlie. It was just, you know, preparation, time, artistic value. And there was actual flavor. So. Ketchup is tasty. Ketchup is a flavor. You're from Michigan. Objectively false review. Please continue. Charlie, you're a very, very talented chef. Like, oh. flavors on point. Mike and Jared. There is so much beauty and strength in simplicity. Anabol, like, I felt it all. Love, animalism, everything. I give it to you guys. Yeah! 100%. Give that chef! Thank you. <clears throat> what the? Appa! We did it, baby. I'm pretty happy. At least one. I'm pretty happy. We got one. It all lies in your hands. <clears throat> uh, Charlie, uh, it's chicken, broccoli, and rice. Yes? Yeah. You use spinach. Uh huh. But that's incorrect. It's supposed to be chicken, broccoli, and rice. Bodybuilders eat chicken, broccoli, and rice. Oh. Yeah, Not so this you, one. that's where you made your first everything. mistake. <clears throat> um, but you did bring some Fago into this. We did. That, that was Taste of Detroit. We did. <laughs> <laughs> Charlie's French toast is fucking good. Oh, so man, I'm awesome. going to give it to him. I like how he stood behind the light. <laughs> <laughs> I thank my competitors and friends, uh, Mike and Jared, um, for putting up a fight of sorts. Um, kind of like when uh, an adult beats down on a baby. I can't get past the fact that you have chicken and rice and you just had to put fucking ketchup in it. Mike and Jared, clear winners to me. Yes! Um, love it. Who doesn't love ketchup? Here's the thing. Losing? Some people will say, oh, it's just a part of life. You carry on, you know what I'm saying? Get your, your shit back together and just keep going. Fuck that. Losing's in the mind. We didn't lose, baby. That Lolo was, that was on our side, who Lolo. actually had taste buds. Thank you for recognizing actual art. Because at the top level of culinary expression, it is a fucking art. Mm -hmm. And if you're finger painting like these other fucking dumbass judges, <laughs> how the fuck are you supposed to tell a classic? <laughs> and two, in, on wall. in 200 years, Van Gogh. Uh, other artists. <laughs> Mike and Jared. That's who's going to be remembered. Charlie? Charlie who? Tons of motherfuckers named Charlie. Plus his name is spelled wrong. <laughs> we out. Peace.